Okay, so section three, we're going to get familiar with a position time graph. So if we look at the um, figure 13 here, we can see this little cute little turtle here. He looks like he's on the highway. That's kind of a bad idea. But I guess um, we've got a meter stick and we've measured out like 10 centimeters, 50, 100, all the way up to 200 centimeters. And if we um, wanted to, we could let this little guy just walk down the road here and using like a watch or a phone or something we could time it and we can make a little table of data here saying like for every 20 seconds he's gonna travel a certain amount of distance looks like here he's going about 40 centimeters in 20 seconds after 20 seconds he went at 40 centimeters after 40 seconds he went 81 etc uh, etc et you can see like his path here um, the position time graph always uses the time here on the x-axis and the position would be here on the y-axis the data points would be plugged in 0, 0, uh, 20, 40 looks like 40, 81 is right here and they kind of go in this straight line we call this a linear graph um, and we would use a ruler to just draw a line through these dots we call that the best fit line um, other things to note about a position time graph we make sure we label our x-axis with the time and the unit we're using. We put position on the side and we put the unit we're using for our distances also. And then we also title it something clever like turtle's position versus time graph. 